but the sound it was making when they were sliding up the string, it was just very different. All right, this is my first time checking out the band Descartes I can't. I'm listening to the song After Destruction. Let's get into it. Loading. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we get into this guitar solo, that was sounding cool, but we gotta pause it because I wanna let that ride out uh, through its whole time without having to break it up. But I'm looking forward to that guitar solo. The sounds in this are so different. Even the, the vocals, I think they have some kind of different effects to bring it in here and there. No clue what's going on. After destruction, they're gonna creation, build it back up, whatnot. But the way we started with the drums, I almost put out the eggplant drumsticks, but I was like, it's not gonna last that long. It's not, they're gonna put more music on top. And they did, and now I can hear the drums as well. I want to see what that throat do. I want to see. So what I'm hoping is by the end of the song, they have it, it, it's just like five second segment. You know, they're like pause the music and you got your singer. I want to see what it does. I think I like it, but it, the way it's mastered, it's like level with the music. You know what I mean? So it's like I can't hear the throat. I can't feel it in crystal clear clarity. The sound of the music is cool itself, though. That's why I think they have it mastered like that. I'm very much looking forward to this guitar. So let me shut up. Let's do it.
Goodbye, user. That was so creative and you know very very quirky. I wonder what else they have. Is that their their whole thing? Is um like robotic sounding songs, or is it just for that one song? Cause that is like I feel like mainly what made that song so different. It had a lot of robotic influence. Just the way the guitar was tuned up. That's why I was looking forward to that, to that guitar solo. Cause we heard a little sample before I paused it, and it just had some funny sounds and the way they ended it, like just stroking the string. But the sound it was making when they were sliding up the string, it's just very different. I feel like modern day, it's hard to stand out. You gotta do different stuff. I don't think I've ever heard guitar effects or tuning, however you get the robotic sounding guitar like that. I've never heard anything like that before. I mean, you got Daft Punk, you got robotic sounds, but a guitar tuned in that certain way, it just, it hit my ears differently. It hit something I've never heard before. And then I, I can hear the lyrics, a lot better by the end of the song. By the second half of the song, still don't know what they're talking about. Something about, the, it's like the world's gonna um, to get destroyed or something. They're talking about creation after destruction. They're talking about ecstasy at one point. It was all over the place. I don't think we're supposed to do a lyrical deep dive to the song. I think you're vibing to the sound, the differentness, the robotic nature of the song. You're doing that, or you're just enjoying the video or both at the same time. Like the creativity of the video, that, that transition where all the clothes changed. And it was pretty seamless too. It's like those TikTok transitions where you're like in one outfit, then you snap your fingers. The same position, and then your clothes change, but you're still, you know, it's like one of those. Oh, I wonder if this is like a a younger band, like to do the TikToks or something. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You the go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know. But I don't.